Close your eyes and watch your breath. Even though it's just a few minutes for the meditation, don't look down on it and don't just go through the motions. When insights come, they come very quickly. It may take a, a long time for them to come, but when they come, it's very sudden. Maybe something simple, just like noticing how you focus on the breath or an aspect of breath energy you didn't see before. And sometimes you see these things most clearly at the moment when you're beginning to meditate. Remember John Fuang's image of the grass at the, the gate to the cattle pen. As soon as they open the gate, the cows go running out into the field, and there's grass right next to the gate. But they're so intent on going into the field that they miss what's right there. So sometimes your best insights can come right at the very beginning of the meditation. As the mind is settling in, you suddenly see something strange about how it settles in, or something new about the breath. So don't look down on these moments of short meditation. They have a lot of potential. If you pay really careful attention, then a little bit of meditation can mean a lot more than long periods of meditation where you're not really paying attention at all. There's a Pali word, bhamata, which means to be heedless. But it can also mean to look down on something, in other words, to, don't, to see it as something small and insignificant. So don't be heedless of these short meditations. In my own experience, some of my more interesting insights about the breath came while riding a taxi in Bangkok or riding a bus in Bangkok, times when I least expected it. But there you are. The mind doesn't make appointments with you as to when it's going to see things or when it's going to show its, its habits. So you have to be ready at any time, even during short meditations like this, that you might see something really interesting. But the trick is to be ready for these things to take a long time as well. They can happen at any time. You can't demand that I want my insight right now. This is why we call it practice. You practice the concentration. You create all the conditions that you can create. And then when other conditions come together, and that's a combination of the two, your past actions and your present actions, something will come up and you'll see something you didn't see before. So when you meditate, no matter how long or short it is, don't just go through the motions. This is your time to be quiet with the mind so you can see it clearly. Now, whether it's going to show itself in depth or not in depth, that's something else. But you want to make sure that you're part of the meditation right now, your intentions right now, and you're maintaining your intention and being as alert as possible. You want to make sure you're responsible for that and do a good job.